Martha was walking to the train station when suddenly she heard loud noises coming from the stairs. A woman was sitting there and acting completely hysterical. When people tried to come closer, she shouted at them. Martha had no idea what was going on, but one thing that caught her attention was the woman's handbag. When she tried to come closer, she heard something, a ticking noise. She had to call the police. Martha was so shocked that she instantly pulled out her phone. She called the police and told the woman on the phone what was happening. The woman noticed Martha and tried to pull out the phone out of her hand. This could go from bad to worse. Other bystanders helped Martha out of the precarious situation. Within minutes, a large police force arrived. They took this very seriously. They tried talking to the woman, but she was sitting in front of her bag and crying again. The woman was ignoring the police, which frustrated multiple officers. It was like the woman was completely zoned out. She was extremely hysterical. When one officer tried to touch her, she instantly lashed out and hurt the officer. The officer got scratched pretty bad by the woman. Now multiple officers tried to get the woman to cooperate. The calm approach seemed to be the best way to go about this. For a moment, it looked like the woman was calm. But then something happened. She seemed to work with the officers as she stood up. But then one officer tried grabbing her back. She instantly reacted. She kept resisting the officers. It was like she tried protecting the bag with her life. This could be very bad. The woman kept furiously swinging at the officers who now pulled out their stun guns. They did not want to use them, but they had to very soon if their own health would be in danger. They did not know what the woman was capable of. Eventually, they had enough and the stunned woman. She fell to the ground and three officers instantly jumped on her to detain her. This was their only chance. They even found a small knife in her pocket. This could have gone way worse, but there is still the bag. When she was cuffed, an officer kept asking questions about the bag. The woman straight up did not seem to care anymore. She was playing the victim. She did not even speak a single word to the officers, but she kept a close eye on the bag itself. She kept refusing to answer the officers. It was like she did not even understand what they were saying. Maybe she was under the influence of something but they couldn't tell. She had to be brought to the police station for questioning. The officers that were still in sight were reluctant to open the bag. The woman was so furiously defending it that they were scared of what the bag could contain. It could be anything, but when coming closer, they heard something even more concerning. The closer they got, the louder the ticking noise of the bag became. They couldn't risk opening the bag. They had to get a special team on site. When talking to the captain, he told them this was a serious situation, and they had to take extreme measures. The first thing the police did was close the station. They could not risk anyone else getting hurt. The only one that knows what's inside the bag is the woman, who was now at the police station. When they searched her, they were shocked. In her left pocket, they found a letter. When they tried to read it, they could not make any sense of the letter. It looked very serious, but they did not speak the language. Maybe this woman is from a foreign country. They had questioned her. The woman gets brought into the interrogation room for questioning. She finally seemed very calm. They instantly start bombarding her with questions. She just kept staring back at them without saying any words. This was futile. In the meantime, the entire train station is closed off, all trains were cancelled, and a special team was en route to ensure that they could search the bag without getting hurt. They are even bringing a robot so that they don't have to come close to the bag. More people now gathered around the station trying to figure out what had happened. The police tried to identify the woman. They even put out a photo to get people to get them more information about the woman. But this did not seem to work. They kept trying to talk to the girl, but this seemed futile. She had no intention of speaking to the officers. They had to know her identity. They tried getting her fingerprints, but she had to be tied down for that. Eventually, they got them and tried doing a background check. They had to wait for a couple of minutes until they got results. When they came back, both the officers turned pale. There was absolutely no results. This must mean that she is actually not from this country. At that same moment, someone else searched her jacket. While searching the girl's jacket, they found something interesting. They had already found the note in her pocket, but now they found foreign currency in her jacket as well. Then they finally got what they wanted. They had actually found a foreign passport. This meant they now knew where she was from and when she traveled here. But then, trying to get that information, they got no hints. 
This girl probably illegally crossed the border. They had to get an interpreter. Luckily, they had someone in the office who spoke her language. They quickly called her to come down to the interrogation room to help them out. There was no time to waste. Maybe this woman had done more than just leave the bag. When trying to talk to her, she got completely out of control. She told the interpreter that she was sorry, but she kept repeating that she had not done anything wrong. She was apparently forced by her husband to do something. She got so hysterical that she lashed out at the interpreter. They decided to put her in isolation while the interpreter started decrypting the mysterious note found in her pocket that seemed to contain a crucial information about cracking this case. In the meantime, the special team arrived at the train station to open the bag. They came in huge anti-explosion suits because they had a feeling that something like an explosive could be in the bag. They started preparing the drone to secure the bag. Then they suddenly heard shouting. 